fans, welcome into this week's edition of Albany Devils Insider. We're joined, as we always are, by the head coach of the Albany Devils, Rick Kowalski. Rick, let's jump right into last weekend's games. Obviously, it was a, it was a tough weekend. It was a frustrating weekend, it seemed. Uh, in each and every game, it, it seemed to be a struggle. You were able to pry a point out on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, not so much. Uh, you know, Talk about the struggles of the team this past weekend. and Still in a playoff spot, but uh, a little precarious. Yeah, you know, we... Uh... We've talked about it this week, and we did last week. I mean, these games are going to get tighter and tighter. And um, I thought Syracuse Adirondack uh, in all three games, you know, uh, elevated their level of play. And I, I thought uh, we didn't do it enough. Um, we did it at times Friday night. Um, you know, we didn't do it at all. And it, it, you know, it's we've talked about getting off to to a good start on those uh, Friday nights. Um, before the weekend gets going, but uh, you know they played a tight checking game. They were strong defensively. Uh, they 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 forced us to play a lot of spend a lot of time in our own end. As a result, we didn't uh, move the puck. We didn't manage the puck well, and and as a result, didn't get up uh, get up ice and, and establish our four check, and really didn't get any chances. And we're lucky enough to get a point. Saturday, I thought we came out a lot better. Um, you know, momentum shifts there in the second period. We. We, uh, we don't score on the penalty shot, and we have some opportunities on the power play and, and don't capitalize, which has kind of been a, a theme as of late. Um, and then the game kind of gets out of hand. We make it interesting at the end. And then, you know, Sunday, again, was, was um, not our best effort uh, when we needed it. And, and uh, I think frustration has crept in. It's affected our energy levels. It's, it's affected the way we, we've uh, moved the puck and, and supported the puck. And we've just, you know, we just basically got to get back to doing the little things and be committed um, in our effort and our intensity level every night. You have three and three coming up this weekend once again. It's going to be Binghamton on Friday, then a home and home against Hershey. Now, Binghamton is a team that currently is at the bottom but always plays Albany tough. Hershey is just a good team. They're not the same team they were at the beginning of the year with a lot of players called <laughs> up or players due to injuries. But they're still the Hirsch Bears. Yeah, I mean, as far as looking at the standings, I mean, we just had two teams that were below us um, uh, that, that beat us all three games. So, uh, you know, we're in no position again here to look at Binghamton and think it's going to be an easy game. I think the biggest thing for us is is trying to establish our game early in their building. It's a tough building to play in. They do play well there. Um, and then, obviously, you know, Hershey's a, a good test for us. We, we seem to respond against the, uh, the better teams and the, the leaders in the division, and we have all year, and, and maybe it's the right time for it. Obviously, that's a tough building, and then we, we turn around and, and see them right back here uh, on home ice. Albany Devils Insider, head coach of the Albany Devils, Rick Kowalski. Rick, as always, thanks so much. Sure. Remember, you can check all your Albany Devils information at thealbanydevils.com. Follow us on Facebook or on Twitter. We'll see you next time.